Hey guys, it's Sarah Bo, and today's video is going to be a get ready with me as well as some updates to what's been going on in my life. Obviously, there's been a huge change. I'm at college in the dorms, hence the, the, the background. We're gonna work on it. But I have a lot of things to talk to you and get caught up on, so I figured a get ready with me would be a good way to do that, and I just wanna put on makeup, so might as well film it, you know? It's a rare occasion. If you're new here, I am a musician, songwriter, and also just general lifestyle YouTuber. <laughs> I post a lot of original songs and covers, but I also do videos like this, getting ready, and just vlogs and general life stuff. So you should stay and check it out. This time I did myself a favor and made a big old list of things to talk about so that I wouldn't get all tripped up on my words. I mean, I probably still will, but it's like less ADHD and I won't forget about things I actually wanna talk about. Hopefully, we'll see. Let's just get in. I have a lot of things to talk about and it's probably gonna be a long one. I hope this angle is a good one. I'm gonna put on a headband first. It's kinda cute, honestly, I might leave it on for the rest of the day. I love headbands. Just for reference, I don't actually wear foundation most of the time, so I'm not going to today, but I will be using the Naked Palette, um, rest in peace, and I will try to list every other product somewhere on the screen. Where do we begin? Let's see. College, am I right? So here I am, I'm at the Ohio State University. I love it here so far. <laughs> I'm really happy. I was homesick the first like week and wondering if I like made the right choice. I always had it in me that I wanted to go to Nashville and just try to make it as a writer, but I think this is the best way to get towards my goals. This is just a pit stop. Let's be real, temporary home. I really love it here. I'm getting along great with my roommate, which I'm really excited about. Her name's Madison, she's super awesome. And maybe you'll see her in a vlog or something, I don't know. But yeah, we're getting along great and I am making a lot of friends, which is cool. I didn't think I'd have a ton of trouble with that, but like there's always a nervousness going into it that I might have trouble, so. I did CCP, so I wasn't worried about the school aspect, but there are some things that are different about college that I like didn't expect, you know what I mean? I could do a whole video on this, but basically, you don't get alone time. The fact that I have found time to film this is kind of insane. I love my roommate, but like, we're always in the dorm to like, pretty much. Like, we're, wait, that doesn't make sense. It's hard to get alone time because there's so many people here. I did feel weird about vlogging at first, but I'm kind of getting used to vlogging in public because mostly no one cares. Everyone's kind of wrapped up in their own thing. And so it's weird because you can feel really alone because you don't have like, everyone you know around you. You feel alone, but you're so surrounded by people and you can't get alone time. So I could see how like the transition would be a lot harder for introverts. You don't get a lot of alone time, especially if you have a roommate, which I love my roommate, so like don't mind. But you know, there's like times in your life where you just like wanna be alone and it's like hard to get that here. In terms of like food, I'm doing really well. There's a lot of vegan options here which is surprising. There's way more than there were in my hometown. And to be honest, I've eaten like my body weight in tater tots, which I need to figure out and start eating more salads, LOL. <laughs> vegan for the health benefits. So the vegan food is good here and I would 10 out of 10 recommend um, that you have nothing to worry about. They always have tons of options. Again, I can go more into these topics on a different video. Another thing that I was worried about transitioning was communal showers. And honestly, I don't mind it. We have ours, so it's like, a shower and a toilet in a room and then there's like eight of those all in our bathroom so it's kind of nice we don't have like lines of showers like a locker room or something other than how much hair there just inherently is in a girl's dorm bathroom it's really nice honestly it feels like i'm showering at home so i'm not that mad about it the one thing i do miss though is cooking you like can't cook here we have a kitchen but it's downstairs and i would have to buy a bunch of ingredients that i probably won't use unless i'm using the kitchen and then they might go bad so unless i have a dining plan so i'm not like gonna do that but yeah okay so then I figured I'd talk about my major so I'm currently a business major that means I'm in the Ohio State Fisher College of Business um, it's a great business school so I'm excited to be there I am a marketing specialization I was originally thinking about finance but decided that marketing would probably be the best for music in terms of classes I'm taking because I did CCP I have tons of credits and I have my gen eds done pretty much after the semester and I'm working towards a minor but I'm taking a lot of cool classes so I'm excited about that my favorite one so far is entrepreneurship I didn't expect to love it as much as I did but I think because I'm so independent and I love the YouTube thing the idea of being my own boss is really cool so it would be really cool to like 
like self-produced music when I get older. Um, not quite there yet. So I thought about double majoring and maybe getting production because otherwise I'm going to graduate at the age of 20 and that's like terrifying. Like I can't even legally drink alcohol and I have to like make life choices. Maybe not going to do that, but I also kind of want to go to Nashville like soon. So it's a choice that I'm like still deciding on. Honestly, I don't have to decide like right this minute. I just have like a year or two to figure it out. This is also a PSA though. If you have the opportunity to do CCP or even AP, AP you can't do as much because you can't get as much done as you could on campus out of school. But if you can do it through a state school, do CCP. And if you're doing it through some like private university or like tiny community college, then probably do AP because it's more likely to transfer. Unless you're going to Harvard, then they're like better than everybody, which in all fairness, they kind of are, and they don't like accept anything, you know, so. If you're going to a big state school like this, try to go to a state school for CCP or take classes through them because it will really, really help you out and save you money and time. I know from experience, it, it has helped me out majorly, just saying. It's really kind of scary, actually, making all these decisions. I'm getting a business degree, and that's very versatile, but it worries me because I do want to go in the music industry so bad, and I would love to, like, work for a record label for a couple years. Obviously, the dream is to make it big as a writer or as an actual singer but I would love to work for a record label for a couple years just like learn the ins and outs so hopefully I can kind of get the connections to do that I think I can here our business school is so good that I've got to imagine there's some kind of connections I can make I feel like I shouldn't have this on when I do my eyeliner I always screw up my eyeliner I didn't screw up that bad today. Manifestation, my eyeliner will slay. Hey, I did eyeliner and it didn't look terrible. I'm pretty excited about that. In case you're wondering, I'm using the Sila Stay All Day one. I've been jumping around a lot and so far this is my new favorite. Oh no, how are we gonna match this up? Is that even the same height? It's close enough, isn't it? I'm not a makeup artist, I don't, I don't have to be that close. Manifestation, I will not screw up this eyeliner. We got this. We're doing good, we're doing good. I haven't even done my eyebrows yet. I hate when my eyebrows aren't done. Honestly, I haven't had my eyebrows done like all week and I feel like in my vlogs it makes me look like so weird. Now I have them tweezed, but they're like so light. They're not even sparse, they're just light and they're also curly, which is weird. Oh, we should probably get back to like college things. Oh, well. Oh, I want to talk about clubs and stuff. There we go. They're even, right? Yeah. I joined two clubs. I joined Autism Speaks You, which I'm really excited about. I have a little sister with autism, so I'm really, like, connected to them. Um, I didn't get to go to the first meeting because I was really sick last weekend when they were having it, but I'm excited to, like, continuously get involved. We plan, like, 5Ks for Autism Speaks and different events and raise money, basically. I also got involved with the music industry club here. I just went to a meeting and I love it so far. So my minor is music media and enterprise because we don't do it as a special major because there's not a lot you can do with that as a major. I feel like it's a good minor. Basically he talked about that um, and how everything is done. He talked about just different things in the industry. This guy that had worked in the industry, I don't know his full name, but he's in charge of that minor. And it was so interesting to hear about. We talk about like pop music and then we're gonna put on like a hip hop show, which you wouldn't think would be me, but I'm so excited to help with because it's gonna be like local hip hop artist and thing. What else? What else? Also, I'm in our athletic band, which I love. I honestly, it's one of my favorite classes. I didn't try out for the marching band in case you weren't aware, but it's like pretty obvious. Ohio State's marching band is like world renowned and stuff. I was interested and I always did marching band in high school and I thought about it, but honestly, I just want to put more time into YouTube and my writing and things like that. So I figured I'd do athletic band because we kind of do the same things. Like we play pretty much the same songs, but we just don't do obviously the giant amazing halftime shows. Maybe I will try out for the band next year. I don't know, but it's a huge commitment. Like over the summer, you have to come down twice a week. You don't have to, but like if you want to make it, you have to and do these summer sessions for hours. <laughs> Even if you do that, like you're not guaranteed to make it. So it's a lot to think about, but I have a whole year to do that. And doing athletic band will give me an edge if I do want to try out. So maybe I will, I don't know, but I do love athletic band. We have the greatest director ever. He's so funny and he's just really nice. I just really like it so far. It's weird though, because I came from a school where our band was always smaller than 30 members pretty much. And now I'm with, you know, 200, 300 people. I don't even know what the class size is. This whole thing has been weird. Cause like, obviously there's classes that big, but it's weird to be in a band that big. I'm used to being pretty much the only baritone, like 
we had one to three depending and so now there's like 20 baritones i'm not used to that but so now i thought i'd talk about my youtube stuff good thing i have these notes honestly without them i'd be lost so i'm getting better at planning and i'm finally in the swing of things here at school so i'm gonna be able to upload more clearly this there's a vlog that's coming out soon after this and hopefully i film a cover today after this honestly i'm so a little sick i'm getting more in the swing of things i'm like actually keeping a planner for the first time in my life which has never happened but i'm also still not organized to do a planner video because i'm still figuring things out i kind of want to try bullet journaling but we'll see if that happens because it seems very time consuming but then it also seems like it'd be very good for me so I have no idea what I want to do. Why do I feel like my eyebrows are kind of shaped weird? Should we fix this? Even if I don't get that cover out, I do have a bunch of original songs coming. It's again hard to find places to film but I'm gonna figure it out. I promise. I have so many original songs that I'm so excited for you to hear and I just really want to post them because some of them I really love like more than the ones I've posted already and I just want you to hear them because like, some are really important and some are good. I don't know. I'm just, I'm proud of my own work. I should be proud of my own work. Hey, buddy. Hey. I'm, like, low-key filming a video right now. Okay. My roommate just got back, so if you hear background noises and, um, I'm awkward, that's why. Anyways, I don't have much else to talk about, so I guess I'll just talk about the makeup I'm putting on. I'm using this elf brow gel. I don't particularly love it, but I need to use it up, so that's the deal with that. Okay, we're going with the Tarte Shape Tape under eyes. People say this is creaseless, but I'm just convinced at this point my eyes crease with anything. Also, I just put it on a big wad of glitter, but like character, I guess. But yeah, other than that, I'm really excited to get involved on campus, like musically. I don't know what I totally want to do. Part of me kind of wants to get like a music minor other than my enterprise one. I think it would be beneficial to learn a bit more theory and things so I don't know about that so but I guess I could also just take classes it's just hard to figure out which ones I can actually take since I'm not in the College of Music I guess I'll figure it out as I go I would like to take like a songwriting class but I don't even know if we offer those to be honest yeah I need to find someone that I can like work on songs with gonna work on talking to people in the industry club if I like get the courage to not be completely shy which isn't like normal but I don't know if you've ever been to like a place where these people all want to go into the music industry they just seem so much cooler than me they're like indie and they produce their own stuff and they're like all wearing flannels that they probably thrifted they just have cooler hairstyles some of them have colored hair like and they just they're just cooler than me and so it's like hard to approach those kind of people plus i don't really know that there's anyone that's like interested in country songwriting in that club so i should probably find that out soon not that I'm totally country, but I'm like that weird in between country and pop and I have like a lot of influence from country. Oh yeah, I'm still not sure about that. So I'm putting on blush today. This is a high effort day. But yeah, basically the main point I'm trying to make is I love it here. I'm really happy and I was worried that I didn't like it at first, but it's feeling like home, so I'm excited about that. I am going home this weekend, my mom's birthday, so I decided to, plus I've been sick and my brothers are going home, so yeah. I, I just really like it here. Actually making friends and stuff. Who knew? I want to do a dorm tour soon, but I don't know if it's ready yet because I still have some things I want to sort out. So that will come up whenever I feel like I want to post it. But if you do want to see that, let me know. And if you want to see like get readies with me where I talk about information I talked about in this video. Did I just? Yeah, I just got mascara on my... I would love that. If you want to see me go deeper into these topics, I haven't been here long enough to give actual like college tips and advice. I can't really help you along those lines, but I can tell you what the transitioning period is like because I'm still kind of going through that in a lot of ways. So if you want to see videos on that kind of stuff, let me know anything you want to see. Tell me down below because I honestly, other than songs, need a couple ideas if we're being honest. Yeah. I've been super busy, but I love it here. And I'm so glad that I'm back making videos so you guys can kind of, this is so cliche, but be on the journey with me. <laughs> and yeah, I'm really happy to be back. So I will keep making videos and keep you posted. We are almost done here. Let's add a lip color so I don't look like really weird. I feel like my lips are really weird. They kind of match the rest of my skin more than I want them to, if that makes sense. I don't look completely terrible, who thought? The one time I put in effort in a week, I will film it, because that's how we work. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment down below, let me know so I can do more videos like this. Also give it a thumbs up, because it helps insanely small channels like ours. But we hit 300 subs, so thanks for that, even though that's like, 
kind of not an accomplishment considering YouTube these days, but I'm really excited about it. So thank you. I'm so excited to be here and subscribe for original songs, lifestyle videos, vlogs, etc. Love to have you a part of this. Yeah, I hope you have an amazing day and bye.